Hello, everybody. My name is Urban, and today, world premiere, as Jeff Keighley would say, I made a tool that organically and dynamically spawns soot. Soot is the black smoke that you're seeing here, and it's being spawned based on incomplete combustion. Essentially, we have oxygen. When that oxygen is depleted by flame and there's not enough heat, we get soot. And this works just like you see in this example. And you can also see how super nicely when you can really see this, like when it's happening, when flame gets depleted, that's when soot gets spawned. And then we can also control how fast we erode the soot layer and we can erode it by flame, by temperature. Or if oxygen gets reintroduced into the sim, that will also remove soot if we want to. So this is the system, it's called soot or die. So if I see another explosion or fire or anything without black smoke, be warned. We're gonna take a look at some real life references and how you would use this, but let me guide you through the system and how this actually works under the hood. So we have a lot of different colors here and the essentially the blue color is the oxygen. So let me remove the soot and the delta and we're gonna be able to see as our oxygen gets emitted, it's slowly gonna get eroded away. When that happens, we're gonna see, we're gonna get the delta. So this is where there's not enough oxygen and the temperature of the flame is uh, low enough. That's when we spawn black smoke. Right now we're emitting quite a lot of soot and this is gonna depend on your source of fuel, right? So is this fuel, is it wood burning, is it plastic burning, it all depends. Uh, but you can control all of that through a bunch of different parameters here. Let's see, if we use temperature and we erode our soot faster. So if soot is generated, but it gets kind of entangled with the hot areas again, it's gonna start eroding it and you can see that here. This is going to give us more precise and sharp licks of flame and I'll show you how you can see it here really well how that happens and then it gets eroded uh, by the temperature. So let's play this bad boy. We can pretty much control all of this here and I'm gonna start doing different presets for wood, plastic or gasoline but you can just dial everything here essentially. So if we don't erode any oxygen, that means that there's gonna be no soot being spawned. You can erode oxygen in a lot of different ways, but the most common one is erosion through flame. So anything that's hot, it starts eating into the oxygen and it's gonna start eroding a lot of soot. We can essentially erode all of the oxygen immediately and that's gonna look like this. So there's no oxygen above this point and then our soot is being eroded by hot temperature. If I show you like this, you can see that's exactly what's happening. If we stop eroding our soot by temperature, now we're gonna be emitting a lot of soot and it's gonna stay in the simulation for a lot longer and it's gonna be rising up with our flame essentially. So this would be a perfect example for that case scenario where there's just a lot of black smoke being spawned. In this case, it's literally just black smoke, but it would be cool, right? If there was like just a bit of white smoke here and it would give us that really nice dynamic mixture. Another example would be where we get just like more sharp licks of black smoke and then they disappear quite fast. As you can see uh, here, we get the suit gets spawned we get a bit of it and then it gets quickly removed from the simulation. And that would look something like this in real life. So we have this example here. There's gonna be a big explosion that happens. Bam, bam, bam. There's a lot of soot that's appearing here. But then what I was really looking for is these kind of pockets. You can see like to, right towards the end, there's like a a lick of black smoke that appears. And you can see the mixture here of black, brown, and white smoke. So that's what we're after here with this tool. This would be another example. This is just a low res simulation, but you can see how it only, we only get these kind of more sharp licks of black suit appearing. And this is another very low res example, but just to illustrate how the tool actually works. 
And if you want, you can obviously do, do the same thing, but on a candle or just like a small fire. The tool is very versatile and controllable. Okay, so this is another example of what I'm saying is with very fast explosion and then you get you just get these black licks of flame appearing. And we can maybe get to that as well here. So I changed the values a bit and this is kind of like what we're getting now. So you can see, let's say this was that explosion, it explodes. We get a fireball and the fireball spawns some black smoke and then it dissipates and also the density dissipates, right? So this is pretty much what I'm saying. You can really dial in all the different scenarios that you would need and all the different scenarios that would happen in uh, pretty much your real life. And this is another good example that where you can use this soft layer and just crank it up and it's going to give you amazing crispy chicken type details like on the top like really like girthy and like rough you, you can almost scratch on the surface type details so while we have this i'm gonna apply back the black soot on top and we're gonna start seeing that we're gonna get closer and closer to a reference but what what i'll do here is i'll really punch this like so it's super 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 crispy so because the black soot is on top it's really we're gonna start getting into this area here and because we're doing it separately we have more control so this is the explosion well this is the flamethrower and this is just the soot layer of the flamethrower and now once we have that we can punch this guy back up and essentially get our super super crispy and if you look at the reference, the smoke is like extremely thick. Like it's just like, blah. And you can see the mixing that's happening here, right? Like here, you can see it. So that's what we're going after. This kind of mixing that's happening between the, the white and the black smoke. And then it's up to you how you want to control this or how you want to, where you want the black smoke happening. And that is all adjusted in the soot or dye system. And this is just another reminder why you need that mixture of black and white smoke. So you can see a lot of soot black smoke being spawned here because of the incomplete combustion. And then it explodes and we have white black smoke and like everything in between. And you can see the soot and you can really see the, the soot fast layer being spawned here. Okay, so I made a really quick low res sim just to illustrate how that would work. So essentially, I just changed a few values and now our suit is even more sharp and kind of really dies off as we lose our flame as well. So you can really dial this in to whatever you want. And then the last example is this um, rocket launch failure explosion. And you can see the mixture of white and black smoke, but you can also hear on the edges you can see these black spots. That's essentially soot being spawned. And again, you can you can really, really dial this down. So it's really just being spawned at, it's gonna go lower in resolution so we get a preview faster. But you can really get just these black caps and then it really, really disappears really fast based on whatever erosion techniques you wanna use. Awesome, and just because you're watching this till the end, I wanna show you another tool that I built, which is Maximum Detailus. And I have a few previews of this. Essentially, it's a hard-coded noise system that is gonna replace disturbance, turbulence, or confinement. It just works. It's super easy to use. It's just one node, and essentially this is without the node. This is with Maximus Detailus, and it's gonna give you very organic, natural looking breakups and it's super easy to use and it's extremely fast. So if I show you, if I go outside, is one example and this only has, yeah, around like 50 million voxels. It's gonna give you really nice breakups. And if you wanna go super high res, I made one that's 50 million. You can see extreme details in the wispy areas and, and it's gonna be breaking up your leading shapes into as much detail as you want it but still keeping it quite natural so you don't get ugly noise or like so you don't overdo the noise on your smoke sims and then if we really want to crank this up now we're getting full resolution of all the smoke details and you can see it's really 
This is really great, like especially in the wispy areas, it's just gonna break up the smoke so naturally and organically. It's crazy, I love it. it it's just gonna work, it's easy to use and it's super fast because it's just only one node and it's not creating any new fields, super optimized. You can get all of this, both tools, the Soot or Die and Maximus Detailos in the Ultimate Explosions workshop uh, for free. I'll see you on the inside. Mm -hmm.